hello everyone i welcome you all in today's session as we have discussed the solution of the differential equation and the formation of the differential equation in our last session to is wale video mein hum dekhenge ki solution kaise nikalte hain jaise maine last video mein kaha ki agar hamare paas koi function hogi y with some arbitrary constants to for example iske n arbitrary constants hain honge to हम एलिमिनेट करेंगे उन सारे आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स को तो हम डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बना सकते हैं बाय डिफरेंशिएटिंग दिस वाई विद द नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स एज द नंबर ऑफ आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट्स दैट वी हैव सिमिलरली अगर हमारे पास डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन होगी तो हम इस की ये फंक्शन देख सकते हैं y दैट इज दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन तो सॉल्यूशन क्या है वो एक फंक्शन जिसकी ये डिफरेंशियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन होगी ठीक है तो अब सारे डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सॉल्वेबल हैं कि नहीं है तो एक्चुअली ऑल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट डिग्री इज नॉट सॉल्वेबल सो अगर कोई भी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन हम किसी भी एक फॉर्म में ला सकते हैं दैट इज वेरिएबल सेपरेबल और इन दिस फॉर्म और होमोजीनियस फॉर्म और द लीनियर इक्वेशन फॉर्म और द एग्जैक्ट इक्वेशन सो वो हम सॉल्व कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो हम पहले जान लेंगे कि अगर हमारे पास एक डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन होगी वेरिएबल सेपरेबल के फॉर्म में तो हम उसको कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे ठीक है तो वेरिएबल सेपरेबल का मतलब क्या है अगर हमारे पास एक डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन होगी फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट डिग्री की तो अगर हमने डी एक्स के साथ सारे एक्स के टर्म्स रख दिए और डी वाई के साथ वाई टर्म्स रख दिए तो इस वाले मेथड को हम कहते हैं सेपरेबल मेथड तो क्या मैंने क्या कहा डी एक्स के साथ सारे एक्स के टर्म्स रहेंगे तो दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स प्लस फंक्शन ऑफ वाई डी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो वाई टर्म्स किसके साथ हैं डी वाई के साथ और एक्स टर्म्स किसके साथ है डी एक्स के साथ तो ये अब इजी है हम क्या करेंगे हम इसको इंटीग्रेट करेंगे दैट इज इंटरगल ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स प्लस इंटरगल ऑफ एफ ऑफ वाई डी वाई इज इक्वल टू सम कॉन्स्टेंट सी तो यहाँ से आपको वैल्यू एक मिलेगा फंक्शन का जो सोल्यूशन होगी इस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन की फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम यहाँ पे एक एग्जाम्पल ले लेते हैं लेट से we have the differential equation in the form of 3 e raised to power x tan y dx plus 1 plus e raised to power x sec square x dy is equal to 0 for example this is our question aur yahan pe hum dekhenge dx ke sath तो dx के साथ y वेरिएबल भी है और dy के साथ x वेरिएबल भी है तो हम क्या करेंगे वी विल राइट इन दिस वे सो वी विल राइट dx एक्स और डायरेक्टली थ्री ई रेज पॉर एक्स टेन वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन प्लस ई रेज पॉर एक्स माइनस tan y dy and you can see that now with dy we have the variable that is the function of y only and with the dx we have the terms of x only so what we will do we will write it 3 e raised to power x 1 plus e raised to power x dx plus secant square y tan y dy is equal to 0 now as it is now in as a variable separable we will integrate it so integral 3 e raised to the power x 1 plus e raised to the power x dx plus integral secant square y tan y 
dy is equal to 0. So it is very simple that if this is the t and there is the derivative of this t. So here if this is the t that is differentiation of tan y is secant square y. So it will be equal to 3 log of 1 plus e raised power x plus here you have the differentiation of tan so if you will consider this as a t so there is a differentiation so it will be the log of tan of y is equal to c so it will be equal to log of 1 plus e raised power x whole cube plus log tan of y is some constant c so now this is log a plus log b so it will be equal to log of 1 plus e raised power x whole cube into tan of y is equal to log of c okay here you can take directly as a log that's the constant here okay so in this way we can say that 1 plus e raised power x whole cube tan y is equal to c this is the general solution of the given differential equation that's this okay so this is the function or is ki jo differential equation rahegi wo ye hai theek hai so this is the way how we are solving the variable separable linear first order first degree differential equation uh, okay you have to note it here that if you have the any function that is function of x function of y uh, dx plus the function of x function of y dy is equal to zero means the same function of x the same function in the y the same function that is in the x here is here the same function in the y so you can convert it or you can reduce it into the variable separable form so by dividing f2 of x because here in the x we need only f1 of x and here in the dy we need only the variable of y so we have this one as extra and this one as extra so what we will do we will divide f2 of y and f2 of x throughout this so when you will divide this throughout that is f2 of y f2 of x here you will divide f2 of y f2 of x so you will get here f1 of x divided by f2 of x dx plus f1 of y divided by f2 of y dy is equal to 0 okay so now this is the you are another function that's only in the that's only in the x and this is another function that's only in y so you will denote it f of x dx plus f of y dy is equal to zero now this is again as a variable separable okay so this is the way how we are solving the variable separable linear differential equation similarly you can try another uh, example i just write it here please solve this so if you have to solve that x cos of x cos of y plus sine y dy by d of x is equal to zero if you have to solve this so try to make it as a variable separable because with the y you have the sine y here so what will you do so take this on the RHS so you will write x cos x cos y is equal to minus sine y dy by d of x take the d of x as on the LHS so you will get x cos x dx take this term on the RHS so it is minus sine y by cos of y dy so you will get x cos x dx plus tan y dy is equal to zero now integrate it it is a variable separable with the x we have the only x variable function and with dy we have the function in y only integrate on the both sides so you have to x cos x dx 
plus integral tan y dy that is equal to c okay so here you will make uv method and you will get get that is here the, the differentiation so that is or integration that is sine of x minus differentiation of one that is one so that is sine x dx so plus here tan of x you know it is the log of cos of y is equal to c so you can write it here x sine x plus integral of sine x that is minus so that is the cos x so it is plus so it is minus 10 okay so it will be plus okay so it is minus log of cos of y plus c okay so this is the solution of your differential equation that is separable okay so now the another form of the differential equation is when you have dy by d of x as the function of ax plus by plus c so what will you do at that point we can reduce this differential equation into the separable form how you will suppose that this ax plus by plus c is equal to t when you suppose that this is equal to t then differentiate on the both sides so differentiation of a dx by dx that's one and dy by d of x and c is constant so it will be zero so that is dt by d of x okay so that means dy by d of x will become one by b and here take it on the rhs because you have here as dy by d of x now so it will be dy by d of x is equal to dt by d of x minus a 1 by b okay so this is how you will make it as a variable separable okay so how it is variable separable now put it here so your dy by d of x is now 1 by b dt by d of x minus a here f of t so you can write it dt by d of x is equal to minus a will go here plus a and plus b times f of t because b will go multiply here so this is now as a variable separable or you can write dt by a plus f of t is equal to 2 then you will integrate it and you will get the function in t and then put the value of t as the given so you will get the solution of the differential equation for example if they will give one differential equation dy by d of x is equal to sine x plus y and you can check it here you cannot convert it into the separable directly so what you will do you will put this x plus y is equal to t so put x plus y is equal to t so it means that 1 plus dy by d of x is equal to dt you need dy by d of x so dy by d of x is equal to dt minus 1 so now put it here so it implies that if you will put it here it will be so that is uh, dt okay so dt by d of x here okay so dt by d of x minus 1 so when you will put it here so what you will get dt by d of x minus 1 is equal to sine x plus y is the t so you will get dt by d of x is equal to 1 plus sine of t so take this 1 plus sine of t on the lhs so you will get dt by 1 plus sine of t is equal to dx now integrating on both sides so you will apply the integral here integral here along with c then so that is integral of 1 minus sine t 
cos square t dt here integral of d of x is x plus c so you can write it it is secant square t minus tan t secant t dt is equal to x plus c that's here secant square integral so we will get tan t minus secant t is equal to x plus c and that is here so now putting it back so or here again sine of t minus 1 is equal to x plus c cos of t by solving this sine by cos okay so now when you will substitute the value of t again so put the t so you will get sine x plus y minus 1 is equal to x plus c cos of x plus y because t is x plus y so this will be the solution so this is how uh, we have to solve the equation differential equation that's in this form so please note it here you should have a good hold on the integration so that's very important okay okay thank you very much uh, we will discuss the another two that's the homogeneous differential equation and exact differential equation in the next session thank you very much